Yeah. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Play Together. The Tossa. Uh, I know uh, to all of y'all who've been complaining for the last episode because I was missing. <laughs> that is why <laughs> I had to come back for this episode because Vika was that bad. Hey, actually, including the, the, including the, the table here, they all didn't want him to sit. He was off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted him. Right. Mm, uh, I don't know. Mm, Ian, you guys Ian? have to watch the previous, yeah, the yeah. previous episode. Okay. So <laughs> on my right is uh, Ian here, the storyteller. He'll be telling us some interesting stuff later on. <laughs> yes, definitely. Very, <laughs> very interesting. Further left is uh, Krish. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. You know, that, until he's still hasn't. Hey, yo, hey. yo. <laughs> the flirt just peace like this, then it's okay. Yo, but I have yo. to say something. All okay. the time I have to say something. Because okay. <laughs> I'm Indian, is it? Le- le- okay, no. Let's be honest. Because he tells the story all the time. Uh, yeah. All I you also, do. I also tell the story. You just... <laughs> you, Okay, y'all don't see it, but his stories are you usually long-winded. You don't tell the story, you tell your story. That's different, <laughs> different things, okay? <laughs> and but it's still the story. On my left here is uh, Jivan. What's up, guys? Uh, uh, welcome back to the he, new episode. He will be promoting the Spotify and the... All right, guys. Yes, you can hear us. As uh, Lena has mentioned, please do listen to us on Spotify and Google Podcasts. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Yeah. Uh, All um, one million of y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. One million. One million of y'all. All right, guys. I, I just hope one day the dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> it's, hey, it's hey, really bro. It, it will I'm, come true. I'm saying it for the future, lah. So when they watch it, like, oh yeah, this oh, guy is they real. predicted, uh, the this future. This guy is not bad. He actually got it right. They'd be like, oh, true, ah. Uh, these guys, they they knew what they were getting into, ah. Uh. Yep. Okay, Ian, take take it away. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Was a, what? Hey, not it. Oh, roll the title card. <laughs> All right, Ian. So let us know what you have for this week. I I've heard that this week's episode is a bit more special. Yeah, this week's episode is all about your stories. Oh, okay. so Sneha uh, didn't do a work, lah. Uh, <laughs> your stories, huh? yeah. Uh, well, just a uh, quick thanks to Sneha and the people behind this uh, research. Mostly stay, huh? <laughs> Wait, this is no research. She basically <laughs> took she someone. Just, she just wrote the story la, from someone. But okay. it's a good thing, lah. Good thing. Who, who is it from? Who is it I, from? I think because had to give credit because she had to filter a lot of emails from you guys, you know. And yeah. then this uh, is to need the one million of y'all. Yeah. But I remember one of the uh, entry, right? Uh. This guy said, uh, "I got molested." That's all he said. Uh. Really? <laughs> this is a, by who? I, 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 Michael I, I. Jackson. <laughs> Wow! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> mm. Okay, who is it from, Ian? Who is it? Who is it from? All right. So this is uh, from Divya D. So Divya yeah. D, thank you for the story. Isn't that your sister? No, that's <laughs> Divya S. Oh, okay. Okay, Divya Seka. Divya D. <laughs> Divya D, yeah, Divya D. <laughs> Hi, Toss Up. Just listened to your latest podcast on YouTube and I thought I'd share some of my own paranormal experiences with you. Excuse the informal English and typos as I write this. I lost my dad when I was eight. I remember standing next to his coffin during the funeral, just looking at his lifeless body. The funeral was held at my uncle's house in Seremban, by the way. So they placed dad's coffin on porch. Mind you, the porch is very big and the coffin was positioned at the right side of the porch. So I was standing next to it and I felt someone pat my shoulder. I turned around but no one was close enough to be able to reach their hand out to my shoulder. Everyone was leaning against the wall behind me on the other side of the porch, which would have been around 1.5 meter distance. I didn't think much of it and continued with the funeral procession. Uh, By the way, I'm from Sramban. Just want to let you all know. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. But she quite accurate. She knew how to... She knew what is 1.5 meters. Yes, it's like mm. the, the detail on this story, man. Mm. Maybe during the time, right? Maybe she took out the meters. And, okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, one I'm, meter. I'm, I'm quite disappointed. La. Her dad just passed away. They didn't allow him in the house again. <laughs> Left him at a porch. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> you, know, you know, okay. I just want to say, uh, I generally don't like to go for funeral houses. Mm. So I don't think so. Most of y'all... What, what is the reason? Because you're scared, is it? No, not because I'm scared, maybe. Uh, it's because <laughs> of like... like a very wait. sad vibe. Yeah. I don't yeah. like the sad vibe. Mm. And and I think uh, Jivan is a very, you know, jolly kind of person. Yeah. So if he goes to this kind of place, mm. he'll make he'll be, joke. you guys will be awkward. <laughs> la. yeah. He'll okay. make jokes. I'll make too much jokes yeah, to the point the that dying. it feels very uncomfortable for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, 
Uh, another thing is because in Indian religion, right? Mm-hmm. Um, practices especially. Indian race, you mean, not religion, right? Okay, what a, <laughs> in the Hindu Belief, practices, the in the Hindu beliefs. Mm, okay. After you go to a funeral and come back home, right? Mm. You have to go through the back door. You have to uh, basically mm-hmm, take a mm-hmm. shower in the Damn. back. And then you have to enter That's the house. That's like BN, right? Yeah. Back door. Oh, they <laughs> 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 they, they the, learn from y'all or y'all learn from them? The process. And I don't like doing the process. What do you mm. call this thing? Is it rituals? Uh, uh, I no, think right? Is practices. Practices. Right? Practice. Right? Uh, practice. So the especially you have to do this if the body is in the house. Mm, yeah, yeah. And you went to the house where the body is and then you have to go through. And I genuinely don't like going to funeral houses because of that. So if like this one, Divya's one, it was outside the house, right? So It's still inside the house day. Oh. It's a boundary within the house. That oh. means that house has a funeral in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Not because the neighbor's house has it. You cannot do that all. I I wouldn't say like to. La, I, mean, but if I, I think I, yeah, in fact, in nobody would like to go <laughs> to the houses. It's okay. just that they have to, no choice. To pay, re- pay la- last respects to yes. someone that I've known for yeah. years, maybe. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll be very honest with you all. Mm. I know someone who loves to go for a funeral houses. Why? Mm-hmm. Because wow. of the food? Uh? No. The food is nice. The, the yeah. person yeah. just the love, nice. just love to be in the presence of the funeral houses. Uh. And here's the thing. All of y'all know this person. Oh. <laughs> Do you know who I'm yeah. talking about? Sneha. <laughs> no. no, no uh, it's Matu. Matu. Oh, Matu. Uh, Why? I don't, uh? I, I don't know. I think he wanted to be a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like every time someone dies, he's, he's so happy. He, he, he loves, he doesn't mind going to the funeral house and he just likes to chill there. To me, I the reason I uh, don't like to go to funeral houses because I, I feel very awkward because I don't know how to approach them and how to say condolences like like mm. i don't know how yeah, like, yeah, um, yeah. before approaching like uh, i will ask my friend what should i say yeah huh? i don't know you know you know what i said before yeah. in funeral houses right. no i say my cousin said so okay, we were okay. looking at the body from far no mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then the auntie came out and asked us like why don't y'all go near yeah. my cousin we thought a bit just said uh social distancing <laughs> 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 oh wow! <laughs> then, then I just looked at the funeral house day. After the funeral, Dad's body was taken away to be cremated. Mom and I stayed over at my uncle's home. It was almost bedtime. I used to be afraid of the dark, so I always had to have a night light on when I go to sleep. So my uncle brought out his lamp. He brought a new bulb and fixed it to the lamp. It worked fine. My uncle left the room. Mom and I were talking about Dad, about how it all happened so quickly and it felt like a dream. Next thing we knew. The light started flickering for a good five minutes. It was all good after that. I told my uncle next morning and he brought another new bulb. That night, the light started flickering again. It flickers every time I speak about that. At this point, mom and I had a hint that his soul could have been around. This is how I started becoming very sensitive with the paranormal world. People who go through this, right? They uh, they have heightened sensitivity towards these Mm -hmm. things. Yes. So I do believe that they can feel the presence. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. But uh, Divya, with, with respect, I know you emotionally could be with your this story, but we- Why are you smiling and saying <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't want to- I don't Offend want to anyone. Offend anyone. <laughs> like, you know, it could be some people's- uh, Personal story. Personal story. She should know. She watched our show. She yeah. know already. We're going to like- Yeah. It, it, it is a personal story. Not yeah. some people. <laughs> Every story has been a personal story. Yeah. And we just want to let you know that there's nothing personal. Yeah. yeah. The moment you give this story, so- To us, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone. You <laughs> know what's gonna happen. You're gonna you know what you're gonna, you know what you got yourself into, I'm yeah. just saying. Okay, <laughs> carry on. Ever since, there were many instances where I just know if my dad was around. He was a heavy smoker. Mom and I don't smoke. So sometimes to this very day, when we talk about him, we'll both get this strong stench of cigarettes in the house that'll last a few seconds. One time back in 2016, I got really sick and was alone at the hospital. I remember it was early morning and I was asleep. I smelled cigarettes out of nowhere and suddenly felt as if someone kissed me on the cheek. I could even feel the warm breath. Opened my eyes and looked around. There was no one in the ward. I was all alone in the ward. Wow, okay. he's cool. Okay, um, I had this kind of similar experience uh, back when I was uh, facing these kind of problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, who, I, who, who wanna kiss you in the cheek? No. <laughs> Wow. It, is, it, is, wow. it is more like oh a, it's more like a, uh, a nail 
nail touching my face. Okay. So yeah. like no nail. kiss. Okay. So it's here's like the thing. No, no it's kiss. Like, it's Wait, like, finger nails. Uh, finger oh, nails. I thought nails. It's like okay, okay. finger nails. Uh, someone tried to scratch your face. Oh. It, yeah. You know, actually, the first thing I thought was the nail. nail the yeah, actual when you nail. said nail, yeah. No, no. I mean finger, finger, finger nails. nails. I thought why mm. Edward Caesar sent one ago and. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about my English, but uh, <laughs> okay. So um, mm. when you are in deep fear or when you are in deep, um, like seeking for, you are, when you're missing someone or you're seeking for these people, yeah, or, yeah. it could be so many other reasons, but mm-hmm. mostly is when you are seeking for certain feeling that can somehow create, an, create il- in that, illusions yeah. to, to, to have this feeling. And that feeling, I can, from my personal experience, it felt so real. It felt, it until a point that you can't really say that it is not happening mm-hmm. to from my experience i can understand what you felt yeah and i can tell you i experienced the same thing it's like all the, i can say right now it could be in your head it's like yeah it's like the, so your, mind, it, your mind is tricking trying you. to help you accept the fact that your that is that, that is, your her dad is not because most likely there. when you this is this is the thing that you always felt before mm-hmm. this is the thing that you somehow thought in your head like I want this person, this person, if this person was here, he would have probably uh, hold my hand. This person, prob- if here, he will be kiss me. Mm. These are the things, the love that you're seeking for, right? Mm. It could probably, because you're so much in that need, it could happen. So uh, you're trying to say like, because she's missing the sensation, yes, she's feeling yes, yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. She's, so she's her brain is sort breathing. of like, yes, yes. thanks Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Back in 2014, I studied at Help Uni, Damansara, and stayed at a nearby hostel called Wisma Lensa. I shared a triple sharing room on the fifth floor, the highest floor, with another girl. By the third day, I felt like something wasn't right. But I didn't think much of it until around the fifth day when my roommate asked me if I felt something was off with the unit. I asked her why, and she told me she always felt like someone was watching her in the bathroom. So uh, maybe uh, there is. I mean, I mean, <laughs> maybe you could was, you yeah. could okay, really yeah. uh, report that to your yeah. dormitory because yeah. I think there's a really someone's watching. Someone is really watching. It. <laughs> yeah, okay. that that happens in yeah. in, in this country. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, just want to let you know if you feel somebody is watching, do, don't make it your first instinct. There's a paranormal activity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, your gut feeling is telling you that something's wrong. There's someone yeah. watching. Yeah. Someone <laughs> is watching. Go and figure it out. It's not all in your head. Mm. Your safety. If when you consider your safety, first thing you do is clear it out. Check it. Check it through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Find authorities to deal with this. Yeah. Yeah. Find authority, <laughs> especially when it comes to the safety. Can, can you imagine? Like her first thing is like, oh, it must be some paranormal thing. The first thing she go to is to actually find like a bomo. <laughs> like, like I mean, you, if it works, that, it works. that what your mom would tell you, but don't listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I just would say because we have very a uh, lot of young viewers, right? Yeah, young I just viewers. Say, like, especially when it comes to your safety, if you feel uncomfortable, yeah. your gut feeling will tell you that something's wrong. Trust mm-hmm. your gut feeling. Just report mm-hmm. that. Just when your yeah. gut, fe- you have a gut feeling that this is not going to work out. Trust it. Move on. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But also, um, some people but might also. get it wrong because some people constantly they have this paranoid. Uh, feeling of uh, some people, but there's no one's watching you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. just this uh, feeling can be. So the one way is that, like, what do you say? Find out. So I think that you could record yourself, put a what? Your camera, put a camera. When like you're showering the, and she's showering. <laughs> why not? Day, day. Okay, okay, that's a bad advice. Don't shower. Like, let's put, not do that. <laughs> okay, not put the the one you showering, you naked, everything lah. Like, maybe you put the part the way people watching. Like you say, let's say the 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 part yeah, where yeah, you yeah, think that, that people watching you. Like the put the camera point. Yeah, pointing there. And see whether if somebody's watching you or not. Mm-hmm. But I think if you complain to your authorities. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you complain to the right authorities. There's always somebody there mm-hmm. to make sure these things don't happen. Exactly. Yes. Especially in our country, men are trash. I told her I was feeling the same way too, and we both kind of came to a conclusion that this place was a little spooky, if you will. We were curious, and we wanted to find out if there were really something in the hostel. So we did a little experiment. Crazy, I know. When there was no one else but us in the unit, we went to the room, closed the door, and sat on my bed. I said, "If you are here, make a noise, knock on the door, anything." I shit you not. A few seconds later, we heard three knocks on the door. Oh shit! <laughs> Dear, I swear, if I say that and he knock on the door, I'm leaving the dorm. <laughs> I'm straight up leaving the dorm. <laughs> okay. As what I've learned when it comes to paranormal world. When it comes in trees, 
It's the mocking of Trinity. It's a Christian belief, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. So yeah, we lost our shit that day. No, uh, I don't get it. What is that? Trinity, yeah. Trinity, Trinity is this uh, one. Uh, uh. Uh, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Uh, the one is, uh, they call the three. So they're mocking oh. this, this, this. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Who's mocking? The, the devil oh, usually knocked three times to do that. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So now we know it's not your father anymore. Unless... I cannot disagree with that. <laughs> Unless, la, I, I don't know, unless, yeah. <laughs> it, it could be someone else try to... Yeah. Um, the, the way you had no chill about it, <laughs> you just went straight for it. I, I'm trying to feed you positivity that your father was not the bad person, you know? No, yeah. that's not how it came off. <laughs> no. The way you said that straight away, your father's the Satan. <laughs> no, but I think I think uh, this, is, this is some... Uh, uh, what call that? Uh, culture believes that, you know, when you're in your lowest point, when you're grieving, right? Someone, when you have a loss, that that's when you're at your weakest, and you know the devil or bad spirits will come to actually, you know, manipulate uh, mm. the surrounding. The mm -hmm. devil will come but did you guys you. try to open the door? They said they <laughs> lost their they shit. lost their shit that day, man. I think. No, but they didn't open the door, right? If it's uh, girls, probably not. When la, they lost their shit, I don't think they opened the door, la. They'll be screaming. Like. Yeah. yeah. That's all. They, that they will only be doing that and blaming each other. You, you know, like I I had this kind of experience before. Mm. Like uh, me, my friends all, we went to this, beside our school, there was this abandoned building. Mm -hmm. When we went to this abandoned building, particularly, uh, it was it was just abandoned and everything. There was no light and everything. So we just walked in. Like, you know how we yeah, go yeah. to abandoned building and just walk in? And I remember one of my friends said like, in the name of Jesus, that, let there be light. I shit you not, things fell down. There was light immediately. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh. I have never sprinted that fast in my life. <laughs> <laughs> there are times where me and my friend also like went to uh, what they call ghost adventure. So we went to this. Uh, there the one, there one a coincidence. That is finding for trouble. No, no, no. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming to a point. I haven't been finished yet. So there's a thing the they want Pustaka Basa. Eh? Yeah. So we jump in and then we went up to the then we we said that. Isn't that breaking in? No. It's considered lah oh, breaking okay. in. It's not considered. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is lah. <laughs> but there's no one there. Okay, okay. So and it's a top floor and this all this put their barricade and zebra line and everything. But yeah, we yeah. on the top floor, then we like, there's nothing one like here, there's nothing. Then my friend said, I, I think we're gonna hear something. We're gonna hear something. I think if we're gonna hear something. It is damn quiet. I think we're gonna hear something. Exactly a point, right? We hear the This is what we hear. Walkie talkie la. But yeah. Okay, but that goes back to the point where where you mentioned this now, la. like you keep putting it in your mind that you're gonna hear something and so you hear yeah, something. Yeah, exactly, yes, something. exactly. So these things is very hard to explain. Because why? Because every one of us heard the same thing. Okay. And it's the top floor and nobody will come there okay, because okay. it's it's abandoned. Okay, my mm -hmm. point is it's not like you say I want you're gonna hear something now. Yeah. Every second you repeat yourself like I'm going to hear something, I'm going to hear something. Right. Definitely you're going to hear something yeah, sooner or later. So, right. so that's the thing. That's the thing. That's where I come to a point when you're expecting a knock. You might expect the knock. Yeah. yeah. Things only got worse from that day onwards. My roommate would wake up with burning scratch marks on her body in places she couldn't reach herself, like the middle of her back. The marks always came in threes. I was alone at the hostel and one day decided to clean and tidy the whole unit. I arranged everyone's tables, books, stationaries at the living room, and then went to my room to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night to sounds of tables and chairs being dragged across the floor in the living room. I checked the little gap under my room door and saw there was no light on in the living room, which meant no one was there. I freaked out and tried to sleep it off. Woke up that morning and mustered the courage to walk out of the living room area. The table and chairs were scattered around. Books and papers were thrown on the floor. The place was a mess. The main door was still locked from the inside. There was no sign of a break-in. All right. So this is what, this is why, right? I cannot explain. I've known people who experienced this before. Yeah, I've also known like, people. How? That is actually uh, something we have to find out because I also have happened to hear a yeah. lot of stories, this kind of thing. And personally, I've seen it, but not... That part, yeah, that yeah, not thing too much floating like, yeah. or the thing. Mm. I've seen it means like the first day it was nothing. Then second day you go there, it's like kind mm -hmm. of mess. Okay, here's the thing. You know, when these kind of things happen, right? This is when I like, 
I start doubting. You know when I started doubting it, like when, especially when? like I doubt not I doubt her story. I yeah, doubt yeah, myself yeah. Mm. whether do do these things actually uh, exist or not. Yes, yes. Because everything else I can like sort of like there's an explanation. The only thing that I could not like explain to myself at least mm-hmm. like how did she get her back burn? Oh yeah, scratch, that kind scratch, of scratch. No, it's scratch. It's like so burn back, mark. Yeah. Burn mark, you know. So I'm assuming it's similar to how um, when you rub the yeah, yeah, skin right, yeah. or something, or if it's actually like a fire mark, mm-hmm. or then I'll be like, the, the the first thing I'll do is just leave the place, you know. Yeah, that's true. I will not be yeah. there, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. why would you be there? Don't be like the American movies, you know. <laughs> they always fight for their house, that kind of thing. You know, just leave. <laughs> we, we've got nowhere else to go. Yeah. We gotta make it work. Yo, yeah. I would rather sleep by the streets <laughs> at that point. <laughs> but Divya, I'll be very honest with you. Like at this point of the story, it's I'm believing that you actually experienced it and not bullshitting me. Huh? Yeah, yeah. If you are right, I'm gonna kill Sneha. <laughs> <laughs> Because she, <laughs> she filtered all the emails and this is the one she picked. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. No more? All right. Another incident that really freaked my roommate and I out was when I was looking out the window and noticed prints that looked like little chicken feet. Mm. At least I think it was chicken feet. I was like, bro, what the fuck? How do we have chicken flying and landing horizontally, defying gravity on the fifth floor? The fifth fucking floor. Okay, wait. They could have been birds. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's right. The first, the first thing you went in is that chicken, right? Mm. Like, mm. yeah, it could oh, be what? crow. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like I wouldn't say there's a chicken feet. I, first of all, how do you know chicken feet looks like? <laughs> I mean, she probably eat before lah. It's but three this thing. Three yeah, and four. But, is it but it's the same with birds. birds so. you know? Yeah, birds. Yeah, yeah it's three. It's the and same. Four. Yeah, but it, it, you know, <laughs> you know for a fact, right? It could have been birds. The fact that you went a chicken who doesn't fly, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah. Divya, yeah. <laughs> what are you studying? Uh? <laughs> help, help, help University, university was not yeah. doing a good job, right? I guess. Okay, I, I, do, I do know that help universities mm-hmm. are haunted. Because yeah, yeah, remember we went and shot something and uh, I should you know, when we were shooting it, mm-hmm. one of the main talent, ex- yeah. he said like, um, when we went to shoot this particular location, they, the way the guy came and told us, okay, after when you all finish packing up, make sure you all go and pass. Okay. It was help. It was help, but it was it got bought over by another company. Mm-hmm. So uh, they told us like, make sure you work and pa- walk and pass. So yeah, like, okay. because they, apparently there's a mom and a kid is like walking around mm-hmm. that place late night, and yeah. then everybody apparently everybody experienced it. Ex- the so, only people that didn't experience it was us. Yeah, mm-hmm. is only my, our only the seller show team right four hours right uh, yeah. did not experience I, it at I, all. Actually, we should. We shot that place around 3 a.m. I think 2 a.m. Yeah. 3 a.m. Yeah, and yeah. when I, I remember when there was a like a gap, like when you guys were resting, I also went around the areas. They say that oh, don't go. I went in Reki, and I was like, it's, it's dark, okay, but it's nothing there. But it's it's very long. Yeah, it's just very uh, long. It's a long, long corridor. Like, long corridor. So it, at some point, right, if you keep looking at it, you'll probably see something. Like mm. yeah. only only four of us didn't experience anything, right? Yeah, I yeah. don't think I have experienced. But everyone else experienced it, and we were like. Uh, I feel a bit not inclusive. Uh. Uh, I felt I think more yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not a ladies' man. <laughs> How about the kid? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. La. Kid, I'm so scared. I la. think it, it could be also, right? We were in groups. We were always, it was just all that's, four of us together. True, yeah, that's yeah, true. That's true. Because teamwork makes the dream work. Mm. Yeah. Around an hour, my roommate went to shower and I quickly came out mid-shower and told me her back was hurting again. She turned around and holy shit, there were three scratches on her back again. If we were to experience this in real life, right? If yeah. one of us experienced it, right? I'll shit you not, right? I don't know what to do at that point. Mm. If imagine you come and tell me, right? I got like mid showering, right? And your back is pain, pain in, yeah. And you are, you're not going to be very chill about it. You're going to be very paranoid about but, yeah, it. Yeah. And you're going to be screaming. Think, what if you were sleeping unconsciously, you scratch your back? <laughs> Actually, but you unconsciously, your hand have to turn like that. You know? <laughs> Actually, you, 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 yeah, yeah, just like that. Mm. But you brought up a very good point. I remember uh, watching like a YouTube video or documentary about this guy experiencing paranormal stuff, uh, like things moving chairs and all this happened in his house. Like the night before he'll clean up, the next morning it's all in a mess. And then you brought up something that I just remembered. It's 
Like when the guy actually set up like cameras, everything to capture the moment, right? He found out that it was actually him doing it. He has like a sleepwalking thing. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But let's continue the story. See what she said. It was so obvious because she's really fair. These scratches were extending from the start to end of the ribs. That was the last straw for us. So we immediately booked the cab, packed our clothes and stayed at our friend's condo for a while. There were many crazy, unexplainable occurrence at Wisma Lensa. It was so bad we had to get several priests to bless the place. What's crazy was that every priest said the same thing about that place. That there was something residing there. Something that isn't human. Something bad. Blessing the place didn't do much. We eventually vacated and settled somewhere else. But I just, I just think, right, when people experience these kind of paranormal activities, personally, like, Uni can find an explanation about that situation years later. Mm, yeah. Years later. You, you, mm. you could not find an explanation mm-hmm. when you are experiencing, experiencing it firsthand. Yeah. That's true. Mm. That's, That's true. I agree. It's, okay. it's, it's very difficult. It's easy for us to just say like, you know, that could be that, could be that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But when you're experiencing it, right, your situation, your surrounding has, has given you such a view, right? That yeah. it only could be possibly this. Because mm-hmm. yeah. the girl, like the first thing she did when she felt like somebody's watching her mm-hmm. was a paranormal activity. Yeah. Okay, because that's the situation. And when you grew. saw uh, prints on your window, you thought it was a chicken instead of a bird. That one a bit sus. Like. <laughs> yeah, that one, <laughs> that one a bit sus. sus like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> too many questionable <laughs> stuff here. Because when you're experiencing one thing, then you, you're, you're like, what's next? What's next? Every yeah, single yeah. thing also, oh, there's a feather flying. Oh, there's mm. something's flying. Mm. Everything mm. seems mm. like a... Paranormal. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, Tamil, yeah. they say... Aren't down kirin the dalam pay? Okay, yeah, subtitles. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what he said, but I would say in terms of that, right? She experienced it in a way where she cannot explain it. We can't explain it. Yeah, we, yeah. These things will happen to us. Maybe years later we could explain it mm-hmm. because uh, with with as we grow older, we realize that oh, things are not as as, as it what it seems like. like yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. So Divya, thank you so much for the story. We thoroughly we appre- enjoyed it. We yes. appreciate it. We, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. I just want to let you know if we offended you, so you asked for, for it. La. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what you're getting into. You know what you're getting into. True. But I think what we should do is let's find out more story about Wisma Lensa. That, that, yeah, Wisma Lensa. Lensa because mm. I heard stories about that place. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I heard some stories I've, about I've that heard, place. I've heard uh, students la, who experienced things from oh, that place. Yeah. Okay. So it's not just her, mm-hmm. but I experience like I heard a lot more stories from other people about that place mm. yeah so maybe we'll do uh, research on that place and mm-hmm. then we figure it out mm. yeah. so until then uh, my name is Jeevan I'm Leonard Ian and I'm Chris we'll see you again ciao ciao, ciao. ciao.